It's such a such a great, it's such a great pleasure to to be here and to have the opportunity to tell you more um, about our course. Um, as you know, I'm Monica, and my surname is Koch. I'm based in Cape Town, South Africa, which is one of NCC's regional um, offices. Um, so NCC basically, well, you said I should share a, a fun fact about myself, Sasha. Um, yes, well, the strange thing is um, I used to be in education and then I actually went over to do therapy. Um, so I was actually a therapist and then I went back into doing education. And this is actually something that I enjoy very much, especially because of the fact that we have an opportunity to, to share educational um, uh, opportunities across the world to, to various countries. And I think that is something that is so much needed um, in this day and age. So I'm going to start with a presentation, uh, just telling you a little bit more about NCC Education as a company. So we are based, our head office is in the UK, in Manchester. And then we have regional offices in, in South Africa, Singapore, Malaysia, um, and then, um, yes, and basically the South African office, we deal with the African countries. We currently have loads of centers uh, that distribute or deliver our programs. And um, our mo mantra, as you can see, is educate, inspire, grow. So we strive to do that. So basically what NCC does is we award British qualifications. Then we partner with centers across the world like Moringa School to deliver our British qualifications to their students in country. And this helps with, with growing the opportunity for students to actually be able to eventually study overseas or even to gain an international qualification in their own country. Okay, so specifically, we're going to have a look now at the level three qualification in computing, the diploma in computing. The different qualifications that we do have as NCC, we have foundation or school level qualifications or programs. Then we have our diploma courses, level three, four, and five. And then it is degree uh, programs and then master's programs. So just to give you an idea of how the UK education system works, on level three, you are at pre-university level. So this is basically your foundation um, level certificates and diplomas that you can get in order to progress to a degree level uh, program. So like level three that we are talking about today, this will lay a foundation for you to be able to enter a full degree program. Our level four programs are equivalent to the first year of a bachelor's degree and level five as a second year of bachelor's degree. Level six in the UK is equivalent to a degree year. So Moringa School took on our level three program in order to be able to, to help students prepare them to either enter a degree program, a UK degree program, or to open up opportunities uh, to international uh, uh, education and also to lay a foundation for someone who would like to actually make a career change or enter the computing sector. So just to give you a basic idea of what the level three diploma in computing is, it is an applied general qualification. In other words, it covers the general knowledge that you should have in order to continue in computing studies. It allows candidates to demonstrate key transferable study skills, mathematical competency, and applied cultural understanding. And if we say cultural understanding, we speak, we, we're talking specifically about the digital culture and what you should understand when you work in the, the digital sector, the IT sector, what is the culture that you should understand when you go and work in that sector or when you study further in that sector. So this diploma helps you to, to get an understanding of the essential concept of the computer programming. So it's a very general uh, preparational qualification. 
I'm going to get into to more uh, details about what the opportunities are after you have studied, studied the level three diploma. So who should study this program? Normally it would be students who just finished school, uh, 16 to 19 years, or it could be adult students who wish to make a career change. You have maybe studied in one uh, in business and you want to go specifically into computing and you need uh, some kind of boost or a step into the right direction, then this is a good qualification to have. So this will help you, yes, to enter a degree program. Like I said, we have a level four diploma in computing. Moringa does not have that on their books yet because they first want to generate students for this first uh, level three diploma. So you will be able to go on to level four diploma or you will um, be able to go into a degree program in the UK when you have studied this. Like I said, it provides the basic grounding of computing studies and the study skills that you need to actually go to university and study further. So I know a lot of you want to know what the entry requirements would be for this diploma. If you have previously studied in English at, a second, at secondary school level, uh, is one of the requirements, which I know in Kenya would not be a problem. Uh, if you have a valid score of 5.5 or above in the International English Language Testing System, the IELTS. Alternatively, you can, if you don't have that score, you can always take the test, the pre-NCC Education Higher English Placement Test, which is administered by Moringa can administer that to you. They work through us, we provide that to them, and you can take that test um, at Moringa School or online to make sure what your score is, your English score. There's also the, the Oxford Test of English, which you can do online. So Moringa School can decide whether they want to make use of this Oxford Test, very good language test, um, in order to establish what your score level is in English. So these are the, the requirements. So as you can see, English or your English, the language is of most importance here. So that we know that you will be able to grasp the admin language, the, the study language that, that you will be exposed to when doing this course. Okay, so just to give you, I already mentioned this, but the equivalency level of this, this qualification is RQF level three or it's a pre-university qualification. Okay, so it's not, it's not a qualification yet um, equivalent to a university, it prepares you to go to university. So the program units that you will be covering when doing this diploma, the study and communication skills, which is quite important. It learns the basic business communications, um, academic communications, and the study skills that you do need when you are studying for a degree. We have foundation mathematics as part of the course, culture studies, again, specifically referring to digital culture, introduction to computer studies, and an introduction to programming. And there you can see the credits that you will be getting when doing these units. Okay, so how the hours would work, when you do this diploma, it is basically a six month diploma that you do. And here you can see a breakdown of how many lectures, how many hours of lectures you will have on each module, how many tutorials there will be, how many laboratory times there would be, how many seminar hours of seminar attendance there would be, and then private study hours expected from you. And basically that all adds up then to 600 hours that will be done in a period of six months. So the exam cycles and the assessment cycles, how that works, it, it works according to the UK educational system. So in the UK, we have the four assessment cycles according to, well, they basically, they to always talk about the seasonal cycles um, when they say the March cycle, they would probably talk about um, the, the spring cycle. And then you would get the, the summer cycle, 
the autumn cycle and the winter cycle. It is quite confusing because if you work with a lot of different countries, obviously, you know, our seasons are different. So we prefer to stick to the March, May, September and December cycles. Okay, so how the assessments would work, the study and communication skills. That is a purely global assignment that you need to do. So there's no actual exam, sitting exam that you need to do. Those are based on assignments. Mathematics and introduction to computer studies are the only physical exams that you will write. The rest are assessment-based and practical um, uh, uh, assignments that you would need to do. Okay, so foundation mathematics and introduction to computer studies, like I mentioned, those are the only two exams that you will physically be writing at Moringa School. They, they cannot be taken online, unfortunately, because our regulating body in the UK does not allow that. Because there are so many different rules and regulations that we have to keep to in order to maintain the, the quality and standard of our qualifications. So we have to make sure that our students are monitored during, during this um, exam. Uh, so it's two hours each that you will be writing at Moringa School itself. Then the performance results, um, you have to have above 40% in order to pass this course. And it can be retaken if, if you have some units that you have failed, it can be retaken within a period of three years. And there will be a reset uh, fee that you might have to pay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that you might have to, have to take. But as long as you do that within the three years after um, you started your studies. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of talking that I'm doing. <laughs> it dries up my throat. <laughs> okay, so the student support that we offer. So the lectures get all their notes from us, the student guides and for each program and module. Uh, we provide a recommended reading list to students. The dedicated NCC customer services team will always be on standby to the center itself, to Moringa School itself. And even if there are students that need to speak to us directly regarding our programs, they can approach us. So um, obviously Moringa School will make sure that you have well-equipped IT suites and equipment for, for to work on. Moringa and NCC will work together in order to provide support and advice to students and um, student support throughout the learning experience. So the whole learning experience um, will go with student support every step of the way. On the right hand side, you can see what the certificate would look like that you receive after finishing the diploma. Okay, so after you have done your diploma, the level three diploma, there are two universities in the UK that you have guaranteed entry into, and that is Liverpool Hope University and then Bangor University in Wales. So once you have done this and you would like to travel overseas and study further, then you have guaranteed entry into these two universities. There are other universities in the UK that you will be able to apply to because they do acknowledge our qualification, but these two have guaranteed entry. Um, an example of the degree, degree programs that you can enter with this diploma is software engineering, computer science, computer networking system, digital media technology, computer forensics. Um, so as you can see, there's a, a great amount of degree programs that you can enter with this diploma. The possible careers that you might uh, be able to enter after finishing this diploma. Obviously it's not ideal because, you know, the better your qualification, the better the career you will be able to follow. But if you want to do the diploma and first want to go and work a bit, save some money and maybe continue with another level four NCC qualification or travel overseas, <coughs> um, you will be able to do, oh, sorry, <laughs> jumping back. Sorry about that. We are my arrows. There we go. So your junior level career 
opportunities will open up for you after doing this diploma, like a repair technician, IT support, help desk professional. You will be able to start working in those directions, but um, hopefully in, in, in such a way that you can save money and continue your studies. Okay. Um, one of the questions that came up is, how different is this course from other software development courses? Well, in itself, um, beside for the, the, the content of the course, this qualification opens up an opportunity for international studies so, or international opportunities for you. So this is what is great about the diploma. And if you compare that to, to other software development courses, maybe online or um, in your country, still those qualifications might not be able to give you the opportunity to enter or get guaranteed entry into any university. Um, this diploma was specifically developed to prepare you, to make sure that you have covered all the basics of computing, to be able to know what you are doing, what you're talking about, when you want to grow and um, develop your career or your studies. So that is the difference. So they cover as much as possible and a, a large variety um, or wide range of different computing programs and software and networks in order to make sure you will be able to enter any other, other program. Where other software development courses might not be able to cover such a, a large range of, of software or networks. This program has specifically been developed so that you are prepared in whichever direction of computing you want to go, you will be prepared for. Okay, so I hope this covers quite a lot of the information that you needed. And um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. There we go. So if you do have any questions, let me just, uh, if I choose to join a degree afterwards, which year will I be joining? First year or a second year, please clarify on this point. Okay, so like I said, this is like a foundation um, diploma. So you, when you go onto a level four UK qualification, that would mean you would be equivalent to the first year of a bachelor's degree that you will be entering after this diploma. Okay, so depending on, the, if the credits are recognized at relevant thinking universities, those are discussions that you have to have with the individual universities. Um, because we we are to TVET approved, they will have to have they will have a look and see um, what is equivalent. So those are discussions that you need to have with individual universities. Because I know some of the state universities or the government universities and private universities um, are not always the same. You, you will need to, to to clarify this for the university. We do have partners in in the rest of Kenya as well. <clears throat> They can also follow up on, but like I said, Moringa School will most probably be taking on the rest of our courses and you won't have to approach anywhere else to, to further your studies for British qualifications. Um, we do have platforms uh, for students to communicate on. At the moment, because these programs are delivered by your university or by your school, they need to set up um, a, a communication channel for students to communicate. But we do have an alumni group, NCC alumni group, um, on several different social media platforms, wh which you can join or you can, um, we can open up discussions. There are, sometimes there are discussions between, between students. So depending on, on how Moringa School wants to approach students communicating with each other, but um, only at degree level, basically, there will be opportunity for you to interact with students and there is a room set up for students to communicate with each other. Okay, so I don't know, do you have any other questions? I hope I've answered everything that you wanted to know. We do not offer scholarships at the moment. This is something that our partner centers they decide on themselves if they want to deliver scholarships or to give scholarships. From our side, we don't give scholarships. We provide the programs to the schools and the schools can then decide whether they want to do a scholarship program. OK, 
Okay, um, let me read out uh, some questions from, from the attendees on my end. Um, so, so when someone uh, completes uh, the level three diploma in computing course, does NCC also support them to apply to the international universities? No, we do have partnerships with this, but you will go through the same process as any other student that apply, you apply directly to the university, um, but we do have partnerships with the university in order to secure your place um, when you do apply with an NCC qualification, like with, with Bengal um, and so on. So you will, you will probably get your, your entrance there, but you will need to go through the process because the universities are so strict at how they handle their admissions that um, we do not get involved in that. Um, it's, it's better to work directly and don't have a middleman in between. Okay, so can we say um, that uh, once students graduate uh, with this level three uh, diploma qualification, NCC will share a list of the universities that they qualify for and they can proceed to apply. Yes, yes. Like I mentioned, now there are two universities with guaranteed entry. And then there is a list of universities that we can suggest to you that you can go to um, and apply. We do have a booklet that will be made available. It's uh, What's Next is the booklet's name um, to tell you what the progression options and routes are that you can follow. Okay. All right, so I can see a few people joined while um, you are almost finishing the, the presentation. But um, for those who just joined, um, please type your questions in the chat box and we'll be able to, to, to respond to them even as we continue um, with, the, with the open day. So Monica, I think there are more questions streaming in. Uh, yes, I can so. see that. Um... Okay, so apart from scholarships, do you offer any discount to students? Again, that is something that you would need to approach with Moringa School itself. Um, they determine the pricing. Uh, the certificate will read, um, sorry, I did show, I'm just quickly going to share my screen again, because I did show um, an example of the certificate so that you can see what the certificate would read. Sorry, I did erase my screen share. So the certificate, as you can see there, I don't know if it's clear enough for you to see. At the bottom, there would be um, a mention of Moringa School, but basically it will state that it's an NCC British qualification, but Moringa School will be mentioned in the certificate as well. Um, with the two universities that I mentioned that guarantee an entry, which year is one going to? You will be going to your first year. You'll be going to your first degree year. Um, so in order to, you're doing the diploma in order to join an actual degree program. So as soon as you finish this diploma, you will be joining your first year at the university. I don't know if there are any other questions still. I think we can continue and as the questions come in, we can address them while we continue. Okay, okay great. I can see a few people are saying, thanks Monica. So yeah, thank you for that presentation. I believe everyone ha has, um, has gotten a, a lot of information um, around NCC education. And, and the role that Moringa School plays in this. I also saw, um, you know, there are questions around like, uh, so like where does Moringa School come in um, with this? So I think you have, you have responded to that, that we are an accredited center. And so we will be offering um, this course at our campus. Um, people will be learning through our, our technical instructors but the qualification and certification is gonna come from NCC education. 
And so anyone who applies to join the level three diploma in computing course can easily access universities in the UK and any other um, universities um, abroad. Okay. All right. So at this point, um, if you have more questions for Monica, please leave them um, in the chat box and we will be uh, responding to them. At this point, I'd like to welcome our admissions <laughs> team. There is um, Washinga. She's going to tell us a little bit, a, a little bit more around um, the qualification, the entry requirements, even as you guys uh, begin to apply to join um, the January intake. So welcome, Washinga. Great, uh, sorry about that. Can you hear me well? Great, um, thank you, Monica, and thank you, Sasha, so much. Um, so my name is Washinga Kibui, for those who just joined. I work with the admissions team at Moringa School, and I'm now gonna take over to tell you about how, what are the process of applying, and um, I've seen some questions around, um, you know, scholarships, I'll be talking about that as well. And I think uh, Martin was also asking about um, model of learning, right? So um, in Moringa School, just, just a, a brief intro is that in Moringa School, um, you know, our mission is to build talent and opportunities through transformative tech-based learning experiences, you know, just committed to uh, closing up the skill gap, especially in the African job market. So coupled with the other courses we have, um, we felt that this was a very strong partnership to be able to um, continuously close this uh, skill gap in the African market. So there's a bit of, um, this is available also on our website if you'd like to read more about our journey and where we started. Um, right, so in terms of, you know, maybe you're wondering why should I take this course? This is because you get a chance to complete a British diploma, you know, without having tra to travel to the UK. You're doing it from Kenya and you'll have the same um, qualifications and NCC diplomas are globally recognized. Um, they give, you know, students opportunity to further their studies um, at a range of international universities. Uh, Monica mentioned some of them, even some with guaranteed entry. Um, and then also she talked about, you know, levels, being able to move from one level to another, you know, level three to level four diploma in computing uh, or even level four diploma in business IT. Depending again on your journey, Moringa is able to hold your hand um, while teaching you how to achieve these goals. So um, the course itself costs uh, 110,000 Kenya shillings or equivalent of 1,100 USD dollars. Um, this is also inclusive of examination fee. So this is a, a, a cost that is paid one off um, before you start school. And in this case, the upcoming intake is on 24th January. So you should be able to um, pay this before then. Um, just a moment, sorry. Yeah. So in terms of, um, in case you're wondering, you know, what, what do I do? What do I do when I want to, to, to start ap applying for this course? The first thing is that you fill an online application form through our website and you will be asked some questions around your background, you know, your interests and things like that. However, one key thing is that you should be able to attach the uh, qualifications that uh, Monica mentioned before. And these include, you know, being able to attach, for example, in Kenya, the Kenya uh, Certificate of Secondary Education. With this uh, certificate, we are able to see that you did, um, you know, English as a requirement in secondary school. Uh, for the rest, there are various courses that we have also attached in terms of if you are to compare, if I'm, uh, if I'm attaching a particular certificate, have I met the minimum requirements? So once you do that, uh, we encourage PDF and JPEG versions. This is because sometimes you may be um, attaching, you know, a link to your drive, which we may not be able to review, which is now the next step, the next stage, sorry. The review of certificates is just to ensure that it's in line with what we have required. Um, but after that, if it's successful and everything is in order, you will receive an admissions decision. Uh, in the event that you're accepted, you'll be able to have an email that will also contain payment details. If you are required to reattach your certificate, we are able to give you guidance on, uh, you know, what certificate you can uh, attach. We've had, you know, as I said, we've had people attach different versions that are maybe not uh, supported. So we are able to actually communicate right after you um, apply that this is what you should do as your next step as part of the admissions decision. Um, 
So in terms of payment options, so the payment is upfront, yeah? The 110,000 Kenya shillings is expected upfront. Uh, you can choose to self-sponsor by making sure that you can uh, make payment before 24th of January when the class is starting, or you can apply for financial aid. Uh, this is into the question that, uh, do you offer any scholarships? At Moringa School, yes, we will offer partial scholarship. We have um, a financial aid process where you will receive, um, you're able to receive the, the, the forms, and then they will ask questions around your financial backgrounds, just to be able to, to uh, ensure that you're eligible for that partial financial scholarship. So um, there's two ways which you can go through payment for this course, and that is um, payment for yourself, that is self-sponsored, or using the partial scholarships uh, route. However, both of these instances are required upfront, meaning in, uh, in order to be successful for partial scholarship, you should be able to start your process as soon as uh, you apply and you are good to go, you should be able to start that process so that by January, you are, um, you know, if you're eligible, you'll get awarded the partial scholarship. Um, yeah, um, so uh, I will link, uh, I'll, uh, I'll put a link to our website in case anyone wants to just go over and see the application form, but it's just an easy step, uh, three step where you apply, put in your certificate, we do the review and communicate to you with the next steps. Um, as I said, the upcoming intake is on January 24th in the next year, apply, apply, um, the slots are limited and we'd like to see you uh, at Moringa School. Great, so these are just some of our contacts. Um, the website is already um, uh, given there, as well as just writing to us, admissions.moringaschool.com, or you can call us through the lines that are provided. I can put this on the chat box again, just for people to grab those links. Great, um, let me just check if there are any questions. Just a moment, sorry, great. Yeah, okay, so, Mode of learning, I see Monica was able to take that question. Yeah, blended with face-to-face -face lectures. Yeah, at Moringa School, even with, I see you mentioned that even with the other courses, what we do with the blended form of learning is that we are able to mix both instructor-led sessions as well as self-paced sessions. These are able to also improve your practicality here yeah, um, in terms of the skills that you're acquiring post the, the, the course itself. So yes, we do mix um, these modes of learning. Thank you, Monica. Um, Okay, good question, Sasha. Are there installment options? So in this question, uh, my answer from the admissions team is a yes, no. Yes, because you're allowed to make minimum installments on your side. However, by the time 24th of January comes around, you should have been able to have completed your payment. So yes, we do allow for you, let's say as an applicant to start making your payment in bits, but the time the class will come around, you'll be expected to have completed entire fee. So yes, there are installment options, but this is totally um, to be managed by you as the applicant. Okay, um, Sasha, I don't know if you have any other questions from your DM. Uh, yes, I do maybe to clarify on the um, installment options. So, uh, so an applicant should start um, making the payments before the class start date or before graduation? Great question. It should be before the class date. So in essence, for you to access learning material, you should have made payments. So uh, what I'm talking about is given the space between now and January is a, is a few weeks, meaning as soon as you go through the three-step process we talked about and you're successful because you'll be told via email, you should be able now to start making payments um, as soon as you get that email that accepts you into the program. When January 24th comes around, the course will um, just kick off and there are no installment plans within the course. Anyone else? Let me let me just scroll up a bit to see if I, I saw two sets of questions from Martin to ensure that I covered them. Discounts, yes, let me talk about discounts. So at Moringa School, we offer discounts at different parts. So what we do is that we encourage all our applicants to follow um, our websites and social media platforms. Sasha does a very good job on updating that. So in any case, um, come January and there's discounts around, like we, we ran one um, for Black Friday, that's usually in November. So just be on the lookout for discounts, which Moringa School does advertise. That what comes from us, um, should there be any discount opportunities. Uh, okay, uh, 
Collins, you ask, is the course emphasizing more on practical or theory or both? That's a very good question. So just to tie in with the work that Moringa School does, we are taking an approach to teach people from theoretical knowledge to practical skills. So you will learn content. However, you will be expected to um, practice, be it, um, you know, Monica mentioned some of the structures of the units, including introduction to, or rather learning about programming, whether it's culture studies, you will do case scenarios here and there to ensure that you understand um, what is required or what is practical about the course. So it's a mix of both. Um, which also allows you as a student to build knowledge around, you know, the course at hand, as opposed to just going through theory, sitting for exams, that's encouraged. But at the end of the day, as a student at Moringa School, it's quite important to build your portfolio, to build your brand as soon as you um, enter the class session. Okay, so Martin, let me just, let me just try to, to, to clarify on that point. As Moringa School, we do not give installments. You are the one to make installment decisions. So for example, uh, you can go with 50%, yeah? That's around 52,500. You can decide, let me book interest with this. And then by the time it's January, um, maybe, you know, preferably the Friday before 24th, because 24th in this case is a Monday, preferably the Friday before 24th, you go ahead to complete payment. So you can't start even lower than that. Moringa School accepts bit by bit payment. However, just the deadline of this bit by bit payment is 24th. Please let me know if that sort of expounds on what the installment plans look like. Okay, um, Sasha, back to you. If there's anyone with a question, I'll be in the chat box to, to respond. Thank you so much um, for joining in again. Awesome. Thank you, Washinga. Um, so I hope each and every one of us now has, um, you know, all the information that is needed regarding the level three diploma in computing costs. So we've been able, to, um, at the start, we heard from Monica, who is um, the business development manager from NCC Education. She took us through um, what NCC does, the qualifications that are there, what you're going to learn in the course, the requirements, um, and even graduate outcomes. Yeah, so what can you expect once you graduate with this um, certificate in, um, in that, once you graduate with this diploma certificate, yeah? And afterwards, Washinga was just taking us through the admissions and the learning experience um, at Moringa School. So um, I wouldn't like to lock off anyone because we still have a couple of minutes. So feel free to unmute yourself or ask as many questions as possible. If there's, if there's something that um, you didn't get, um, we are here to clarify. We can we can repeat. We can maybe show you the deck uh, the decks once again so that um, we can respond to all the questions or uncertainties um, that you have on your end. So at this point, um, we we still have more time to do Q and A. So feel free to ask as many questions uh, as you have. Yeah. Uh huh. I was hoping that our, our, our technical mentor will be joining us today, but he was held up. So we won't be able to meet him today. But um, as you go through your admissions process, for those who are going to proceed with um, applying, you'll get to see him in the emails and during the onboarding session um, um, in, in January, later on in January, before the class begins. Um, in, on, on January 24th. Okay, so thank you so much, Thaya, for, for the questions. More questions are streaming in. So he's asking, Monica, this is for you. Um, if you could repeat um, the two universities that are guaranteed um, admissions from the UK. And as Monica responds to that, so Fiona asks, are there any exemptions to a Moringa school course after level three diploma? So Washinga, could you take that up? Okay, um, thank you, Sasha, and thank you for the questions. So um, in comparison or rather in terms of exemptions, we are able to um, 
we have for our social development course, we have both prep and core. So it is possible for you to join core directly because you will have already practiced on the introduction bit um, of programming. I hope that answers your question. Uh, Fiona, can you confirm if we have answered you? Awesome, great. Any other questions or comments? Um, what are your reactions and towards this course? What are you guys expecting? You know, yeah, from from Moringa School as a learning center. So I can see another question that um, that came up a lot. Uh, Washinga, maybe you can clarify is around, um, will this course be a full-time program and will it be fully online? Um, yes, that's also another good question. So yes, the instruction will be online. However, remember, uh, Monica mentioned that the exams will be done in person. So in this case at Moringa School, we term that as a hybrid. So there are chances or rather times that you'll be required to go um, into the in-person space and Moringa School adheres to the COVID-19 guidelines. So you will get um, onboarded about, you know, what, what, uh, what can you observe by the time you're going to the in-person space? You know, we just continuously practice social distancing, sanitizing, and you're required to have tests. Um, so yeah, it will be more of a hybrid, um, just to answer that. It will be a full-time course. Um, instruction is done from 8.30 to 5 p.m. And this will be a duration of six months. Okay, awesome. All right, so um, I think that covers all the questions that I can see from my side. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know, Monica, if you have any closing remarks um, or, yeah, we can start with you, Monica. <laughs> okay, so there's nothing else that I would like to add. Um, I hope you've seen now that I've added a few universities. Um, also, I mean, feel free to, to go and have a look on their websites to see what those universities are about. Um, and if you have any other questions, um, I'm sure you can, can ask them through Moringa School and if there's something that they need, if they need more information from us. We can provide that as well. You're more than welcome to also visit our website at nccedu.com um, if you want to have a look at, at, at the other programs that we also have. And like I said, um, eventually uh, Moringa will add, uh, probably add our um, higher level diplomas as well. We just first want to see uh, what the response is on our level three diploma to see if students are going to make use of this opportunity to actually be able to take on international qualifications. But other than that, thank you so much for the opportunity to speak to you all. And I'm very grateful for the guys that did join today. It's always lovely to speak about our products and um, to tell people a bit more about NCC. So thank you, Sasha. Thank you, Washinga. Thank you so much, Monica. Uh -huh. And uh, Washinga, maybe your, your closing remarks? Yeah, um, I'm also very grateful for everyone who's taken the time to, to join us. Uh, we look forward to having you at Moringa School. I see Colleen says it's a good course and you're looking forward to join. Yes, feel free to reach out to us via the um, contact details I provided. We are happy to answer all the questions that you may have in regards to Moringa School, uh, the methods of, of learning. Um, even if you have a technical question, we are able to connect you to the tutor and they are able to um, answer you beforehand. So thank you so much again, Sasha, for facilitating this, Monica for joining in, and everyone else um, for making time. All right. So um, we are just sharing the, you know, all the details, the links to the website, the links to our financial aid program, and our contact details here at Moringa School. And so be sure to, um, to take screenshots or copy them. <laughs> so that in case you need a follow-up, you want to talk to us one-on-one -on -one, starting from Monday next week, we will, um, we are happy. Our admissions team is uh, very equipped. We are a huge team. So we'd be, yeah, we, we are looking forward to your calls, to your inquiries so that we can take you through the process. And yeah, you guys can start learning from, from January next year. So 
um, at this point, if there are no more, if, if there are no questions, uh, going once, going twice, <laughs> we don't want to lock anyone out. So if you have a burning question, this is your chance, guys. This is your chance before we, we say our goodbyes and wishing you guys a lovely weekend. Anyone, 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 if you have a burning yes, question. Yes, or question. You... Awesome. Yes, Martin. Okay. Uh, so you put the link to the financial aid. Ah, a link okay. to the financial aid. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Let me just share that right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also had another question. Maybe Sujakupata Vizuri, maybe for people who don't have the 110,000, I'm going to keep our discount the 80,000, the instrument will be paying up initially before you access the canvas or the, the materials, the learning materials. Okay. So um, just to uh, paraphrase for Monica, he's, he's asking around like the installment uh, installment plans that we have and how much are they required to pay initially? So Washinga, could you maybe repeat that? Yes. Um, thank you. Thank you, Sasha, and thank you, Martin. So there are no installment plans in terms of what you need to have paid. You need to have paid completed full fee 110,000 by 24th. So that makes it, you know, there are no installment plans that Moringa School will provide. However, since, you know, as you said, Martin, which I like that you brought that up in case you don't have, you know, 110 or 80,000 um, at hand, what you can do is start paying slowly. So it is an installment plan that you are creating for yourself, but the school will not uh, allow you to, to continue into the course if you haven't paid the 110,000. So why we support that is because, as you said, it's very true. Sometimes you may not have the money at hand, but we will take it in bits. So you can pay some amount, maybe start with 30,000, then go to another 30, maybe even at the same time you are pushing or rather pursuing your financial aid application um, and so on and so forth. You can still do that as part of your application so that by the time 24th January is coming around, you should have paid 110,000 Kenya shillings. Um, I just want to ensure that Martin, you're clear on that, that there are no installment plans from Moringa School. Okay, thank you, thank you, that is clear. Yeah. And I, um, it, sorry, sorry, go ahead. Uh, Daya, just, just let me let me just say one thing, then I let you go, yeah? Um, just to be clear, ensure that you are applying for financial aid after you've been accepted. So your very first step would be for you to do your application. So go to the website, apply, ensure that you have everything in order, then now you'll be able to, that's the very first eligibility criteria of getting uh, financial aid. So that's something I should point out um, that you have to start from the application process. Great, um, thank you, Daya, go ahead. Yeah, mine is a quick one. Do you have another intake? Apart from the January intake, cause chances are um, the time limit or the, you know, the deadline to the to 24th January, most people, well, I'm assuming, just assuming uh, it will, be hard for people to come up with all that cash. Maybe if you have another intake uh, later on in the year, you know, people will be organizing themselves financially by then. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, can I, I just sorry, sorry, what okay. you're sorry. I, I mentioned during my presentation, the, the cycles, the different cycles. Um, that's not only just for assessments, but that's also for registrations. So you can register before any of those cycles. Um, and then six months after that, after you've registered, you will be finishing your course. So it's not only a, a, a once of beginning of the year registration. You should be having a registration four times during the year that you can actually register. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. Okay, great. So, yeah, I can see uh, our time is far much gone. So thank you so much. And I'm really glad that we didn't lock um, Kaya and Martin out. <laughs> thank you for those questions and for interacting and engaging with us today.